what about the rest of this place? I thought there were more that we hadn't seen. Because in the very beginning here, we initially took a elevator up, but we could have seen other things. Oh, huh, cool place though. That, <laughs> that dance-off segment gave me a very Parappa the Rapper vibe. And it's no fair, okay, as a dance-off. He's making me copy him, but then he doesn't copy me back. Um, this is new. What? Did I ever tell you my completely unfounded fear of elevators getting stuck with me in one? Please, don't start peeing in the corner or something. Well, only because you insisted. <laughs> oh, come on. Get out of here. Elevators typically only kill 30 people per year, Milo. Of course, that doesn't take into account how many people are murdered inside an elevator, so, you know, who's to say your next trip up the lift won't be your last? <laughs> But let's take a look at what terribly excruciating memories are burning up the charts. Coming in at number three. Oh, I can't believe it's so low. Milo taking the time to regain his conscience. Oh, what a horribly inefficient way to use company time. Unless, of course, you were just scared to finally let your inner monologue act on your behalf. I wasn't myself without him, Wormhorn. Felt like I was wearing, like, ill-fitting clothes or something. Your grandmother didn't knit you a purple sweater, man. You were free to do whatever the fuck you wanted. And you bottled it all up inside the absolutely fastest you could. Shame. We're it was worried. a bit of a shame. And speaking of dancing, coming in at number two, Milo won the competition. Yeah. How ridiculously stupid to have actually played along with this shit. I, I don't know if you know what you looked like out there, but there will be people checking their insurance tomorrow to see if PTSD is covered. Ask around if you don't believe me. It wasn't a pretty sight. It's good to win things, Wormhorn. What do you expect me to say here exactly? Oh, I don't know. I'm a giant loser who will willingly mimic slow, repetitive prompts with my quickly evaporating free time. What is that supposed to? And the new that was weak, Wormhorn. What the hell were they thinking? Thing they did is not get Asmodeus and Beth back together again. <sighs> really, guys, this was a layup. How many ways do they have to spell shit out for you? And when has getting two people into a relationship not been beneficial, except for the vast majority of times? Enough, Wormhorn. Can it and open the doors. What's the matter with you guys? Don't you, don't you appreciate the amount of work I've put into this? No. Why would we appreciate this? All we care about is, is each other and just getting out, and this is not helping. And all you care about is each other. No one cares about Wormhorn. Wouldn't it be nice if Wormhorn had someone to rub on her shoulders? If Wormhorn had someone to help cheat at Marco Polo? You hit it right on the money, Mary. Absolutely nobody cares about you. People pay good money to get permanently rid of brain stains like you, okay? So if you think I'm gonna get sad because my irrational fear of tornadoes suddenly feels lonely, you are sadly, sadly mistaken, buddy. Wormhorn? Oh. Hi! Oh, she felt sad! I just wanted to mess with her a little bit, but that kind of made me feel bad. Christ. Let's get to Welkin Way before any more Wormhorn's shit happens. Oh, man. Hey, Milo. Just wondering if you want to get a drink this Friday. Hope you're well. Eliza! Oh, shit. I just got a text from Eliza. This is amazing. Is this what it feels like to get booty called? Because, man, I can see why people work out now. Well, don't text <laughs> her back. She's a total psycho. <laughs> I can't believe you gave her your number in the first place. Sure, sounds great. You should pick the place since I'm new. S sorry, Lola, but it's my love life at stake here. How about Inanna's diner? <sighs> uh, what are you sighing happily about? Do you forget where we are for a second there? Yeah, just tell her. I just got a date with Eliza. Isn't that insane? We're going to some diner on Friday. Milo, we are trying to get out of hell. If everything works out, you aren't going to be here Friday. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, just in case. Ugh. Just in case, just in case. What's up here? Wormhorn, everything she says is designed to make us feel bad, so I don't think we should feel bad about not getting Asmodeus and his wife back together. That's for him to deal with. I wanted the dance off more. I guess Feisty's is a chain. Wanna head in? Huh, looks like it's closed. Oh, you're right. It looks like that one permanently shuttered dimples near our housing where that weird cat lives in. Weird cat? Inferno house! <laughs> this one looks like a prison with the bars. This is like a night city. The Petri dish. 
want to get a tattoo. I thought you wanted, like, a, an aardvark design or something. Yeah, maybe if we get home, I'll want to commemorate my love of those lovable ins- Oh! Hey, this looks like a cool bar. The <laughs> Whoa! And so I told Frank, I said, listen, I don't care about the metrics. Just tell me what we should be doing better. He's so whipped by marketing. Milo, are, are you okay? Oh, um, Beth, honey, I, I think he just stepped on somebody. <gasps> Sorry, kid, I didn't see you down there. It's Asmodeus' it's, wife. Good. I once had my foot run over by a paper boy, so I, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, you're new, right? Are you on Baker yet? Yes, for Satan's sake, you're not at a convention. <laughs> what? Conversion and retention, man. It'll get Beelzebub off my ass. Sorry, I'm Beth, short for Behemoth. I'm director of operations for Bicker. You oh. just love to say the full title, don't you? <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. Bicker's been kind of helpful for us, actually. I wasn't on any social media while I was alive, but that's only because on Earth it gives you soul cancer. Yes. Yeah, we're still rolling out our feature set, so Earth's a little ahead of us. Sorry, Beth, but they're not going to hold our table forever. They will for me, but all right, see you guys around. Get on Bicker and direct yell at me. I'll promote your sins, okay? <laughs> Have a good night, kids. Bye. Well, she seems completely well-adjusted compared to her ex-husband. Maybe it's a good thing they're apart. Significant seller. Oh, wait. Oh, we can go in. Oh, I wonder how much we can do though, but we'll look around first. Club 666. Does that mean that we're now cool with the, what is it, director of operations at Vicker? I have a song stuck in my head, literally. A record is jammed in my orbital socket. Oh, feeling depressed. Can y'all reply with your favorite pics of adorable human beings? Humans being? Tor oh, humans being tortured to brighten up my day. <laughs> well, that's... that's amazing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alarm, alarm, permanent vacation shots have emerged. Alarm, alarm, shit's gonna get circus around here. Alarm. Oh, shit's gonna get circus around here. Real fucking quit. Alarm, alarm. Blackout blurs day. Skull happy hour. Ha <laughs> Lightweight just vomited up his damn conscious and skull. If you want to make five bucks, just ask the little guy for a crisp Lincoln and look sad. Tips for days. Asmodeus! Beat some ass in the dance competition, per usual. What? I beat him! Motherfucker thinks he's hot shit, but when I finally buy some new shoes, I'm gonna show everyone at the post office who can really twirl. Hashtag, how do you get to the Carnegie Hall? Skull dance comp. <laughs> yeah, the writers in After Party, not only is it obvious that they're well read, but they're also very like, in the know with the social medias and all. <laughs> That's great. I wonder if we can actually get into the glove though. Sticks and stones discount torture. <laughs> uh, pardon, pardon me, uh, but we would like to get into the... This bar? Yeah, fat chance. The cellar is an exclusive lounge and haven for serious reprobates only. You gotta score less than 20% on your shame and scruples. If you have even a hint of compunction or moral fortitude in you, you can walk your ass down to the Waffle House. Okay, well, how do you know I'm not like that? I mean, I mean, one time I was playing my little cousin oh. in, a, in a racing game, and I didn't show him how to break until it was almost time for his parents to pick him up. Leave. Yeah, I didn't think we would be able to get in because they probably only let us do one or the other. But I wonder if you were supposed to go here when Milo lost his conscience. Because then he would probably be qualified as an asshole, right? But earlier, I don't think we were allowed to leave the club. Because we were directed to jump off the balcony right away, pretty much, so... Hmm. Well, if the, the wife is still in there, if Beth was still in there, then, you know, asshole and asshole, divorce now, you know, just lead separate lives, be done with it. She seemed nice, though. The way she was talking to us earlier didn't really feel like she was that mean of a person. But you never know, I guess. Sam, we're ready to go to Satan again. Uncle Luke's house. I still can't tell if hell is always hot or always cold. But you're sweaty. I saw this tweet already. <laughs> Alrighty. Return to Satan's house. Is Sam there? I can't tell. 
Yes, she is. Okay, Bantlings, you got your, uh, your passport stamped and everything, so looks like you're good to go. Satan will be happy to see you did it, probably. Um, will he be? Because I kind of got the feeling that he didn't really want to do it. No, are you? Seriously? No. Using the loophole to let people out makes him feel like he's Harriet fucking Tubman. He'll be thrilled to give you guys more than a participation trophy, trust me. Let's hope you're right, Sam. Whoa, no lineup. Have fun, kids. I only got another mile away left on my, uh, my shift tonight. So if you wrap up fast, it was nice knowing you. Not that anyone can ever really know anyone, you know? Hey, if you're getting off soon, would you, uh, wanna maybe wanna get a drink after? Yeah, sure. I don't know where I'll be, but just, uh, send a carrier demon or something. Can we just text you? Send the demon, it'll get there slower. But I guess that's it. And if Morningstar asks, uh, I wasn't really happy all night. Huh? Why would he care? Bye! Well, that's weird. She seems to know a lot more than she lets on. Hey you, just thinking about what I should wear. Oh man, I just got another text from Eliza. She's referencing her clothes on our date. That cannot happen. Uh, I think she's talking about her underwear I'm in too deep. <laughs> right back. Nothing. Just leave it alone now. I'm serious, Milo. Don't think I can't see your hands. Milo. I'm thinking about what you should wear too. But not in a creepy way. In a fun, sexy way. Three texts in a row, Milo! You broke the rule. <laughs> I know. Stop it. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, why is everybody gone, by the way? Wanna skip the hustle and bustle and head straight to Lucifer's? Satan's, please. Alrighty. Don't, ooh, don't hit, hit your head there. Great, good. You're doing so well. I guess everybody either left or everybody got in. Oh my god, there's not a single soul here anymore. What's going on? Oh, people are wasted. The party's over. We're too late. So, I guess I suppose this. Is... this uh, <laughs> you go first. I was just gonna say that this is the uh, the end of the line, I guess. And uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I should say I'm sorry for some reason. I don't necessarily know why, but I, I just feel sorry for how how things have gone. Yeah, I kind of weirdly feel the same way. So. Uh... Sorry, if I've been weird or anything. It's fine. I don't know, whatever. Let's just, let's just get home. Hmm, yeah, there's been little arguments here and there, and I don't know, both Milo and Lola have things that they're not really coming clean about, are they? Like, Lola seems to be a little bit jealous about Eliza and all, and Milo keeps thinking that Lola is, you know, moving away to better things. Oh my god, there's a German tweet. I can't read that. I'll leave that for someone else. Let's go, Lucifer. Well, I wait. What, Lola? Hey, where? Shit, Milo. How'd I lose you? What the hell? Milo, are are you here? Lola, I'm 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 over I'm over. I don't know how to shit. I, how to describe it? Can you can you hear me? Lola? Oh my god. I can't... I can't see you. I... I can't... I think I can hear you. Oh shit, how did... how do we get split up? Hey, Lola, aren't you... Where's, aren't where's you always with that twin? friend of yours? Milo. What? what? Okay, Milo, we came, we saw. Let's... let's get the fuck out of here before I get some disease. I hate these things. Come on, these people, they're just... Just these sloppy hangers-on that'll fuck into existence another generation of overweened termites craving bullshit to ignore their grandmother dying in hospice. Well, there's no escaping that fate, assholes. No matter how many pop songs you can fucking quote. Ugh, give me a break. I do not sound like that. Right, just fuck off, Wormhorn. I thought we were done with this stuff. 
Fuck yeah, let's rock this bitch. Finally, I've been, I've been really <laughs> waiting all year for this. I could spread my party wings and really, really assimilate into good old boy, middle class, mid cult, <laughs> die of heart disease, avarice, and stupidity. Rock this bitch. And don't take it to me that your friendship, Lola, was never enough for me. Understand that it was never even close to being enough. Yeah, Milo doesn't sound like that asswipe. Okay, he's a giant nerd that's as much of a skeptic. I'm as... not a, a giant nerd. Okay, I'm, no, it's a compliment. Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Lola, how's it? Uh, how's it? How's it going? Well, there are starving children in the world, and you're all taking Jello shots. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Oh, Jesus Christ! Did you hear your uh, friend Milo got pranked by Kappa Theta? <laughs> They somehow forwarded his calls to their directory. The only one who ever calls him is mom. Oh, Ugh, Milo. Uh, God, yeah, that guy's just such a fucking walnut. <laughs> oh no. A walnut. Why is it so funny? <laughs> a walnut he is. <laughs> what, what does that even mean, a, a, a walnut? You know those guys filled my mailbox with walnuts for like a month after, right? Yeah, I know. You told me all about it. I, I just... Uh... It just came out, and I didn't think they. It wasn't even meant to be a big deal. Hey, Milo, where's uh, where's Lola? Oh, she's getting her stuff out of the car, I think. Wasn't she supposed to go to some uh, some veterans hospital thing tonight or something? She had to to apply for it, I think. You couldn't just volunteer because it gave school credit. It was like a job. Yeah, she got in, but I accidentally threw away her acceptance letter. Okay, now there is more Ew, to this. Than... Seriously? I know. Isn't it hilarious? Okay, it's I. I don't care if that actually happened. I mean, I do care, but uh, I can see it's just Wormhorn trying to fuck with us. So, oh, God damn it, Milo, are you kidding me with I that? I know, I know. It's, <laughs> I can't say I'm sorry enough, but but I was feeling really fucking down, and you didn't seem to care, and I just wanted you around that Saturday. Hey, guys, don't tell anyone, but I think I'm going to ditch Walnut at whatever the opposite of the pearly gates are. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. The guy just isn't going to be able to pull his weight in the drinking contest, and I'm afraid he'll weigh me down. I am not thinking that. Oh, man, that's rough, honey. Wait, you're not you're not really planning to do that, are you? No, Milo, of course not. Why are you, why are you, why would I ever do that? Yeah, and why would I call you a fucking walnut to a group of people I actively and loudly despise? Unless, of course, I just really don't like you much either. Just shut up, okay? Just, just shut the hell up. Milo, no, I... No, you, that was, that was mean what you did. Call me? Call shit behind my back. Mean? You purposefully didn't tell me that I could get school credit one Saturday. You held me friend hostage. Maybe I did it because I was depressed, but no, you would never notice something oh, like that. Are you serious right now? I'm afraid he's quite serious, Lola. But before we get into your ultimate disillusion, let's see who won. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. You statements are someone's love language. What What are you talking about? What? 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 We, we haven't even played yet. The winner is Lola! <laughs> yeah, Lola, you're awesome! Yes, but Wormhorn, what does this mean? What does she win? Well, that's the 72 trillion cell question, isn't it, kids? That's the Toba catastrophe. I piss when I hear the sounds of lawnmowers question, isn't it? You won. Your point of view. You won your point of view, that's what you won. Uh, uh, what? What the, what the hell does that mean? She won her point of view? Like we followed what Lola said most of the time? What? What, what do you even- what, what, what do you even- That's it! That's what I'm talking about. You can say what? Whereas Milo can only do what God tells him to do. I don't understand. You have autonomy of purpose. I mean, it's obvious. You did Lola's plan of going after Fella. Lola yeah. got Roberto off despite what Polly wanted. You got Asmodeus back with Beth, which was Lola's idea. What? I didn't. You have autonomy of purpose. That's how humans see things anyway. You're the only real one, and everyone else is just twitching like a like a leaf stuck in a tree. This is this is fucking stupid. This is dumb, okay? I I, I don't I I I just it's just not true. N none of it. We're still, we're still getting out. We can still. Shut up. <laughs> getting out. I think that's ever gonna happen. No one's out drank Satan like ever. What the fuck are you talking about? Them and fuck you too, Lola. This is my last damn night out, and I'm gonna spend it alone, away from you and all of this shit. Milo, wait, come on, I, I need you, man. Jesus fucking Christ. 
fucking Christ, finally! <gasps> no! I have been trying so fucking hard to get under your guys' skin. This is just... Oh, it's a good... It's a good feeling, <laughs> that's all. You know what? This isn't over, prick. Okay? Not by a fucking long shot. Of course not. Of course it's not done. You're the hero. And you're always gonna be the hero till the fucking day you die. Because that's God's greatest gift to you. You don't live past your death and see just how little you really matter to the world. Sister Mary Warmhole. You know, I don't uh, recall inviting you to the jungle gym. S S Satan, it, it's a great honor. I imagine it would be for a creature such as yourself. You know, my father prided me on my confidence. He used to say, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed, which means doubt is for lesser beings. Personal demons are lesser beings. Yeah. They make us lesser, so they are lesser. And this, <laughs> this is the time for confidence, for faith in things unseen but felt. Huh. It's also about time for you to die, isn't it, Mary? Yes. One night only, right? Wait, demons can, they can die? Demons can't, uh, real demons anyway. But personal demons expire in the rays of a new day. Your traumas are your own. But how they express themselves gets refreshed every 24-hour cycle. Mm, think of it as trimming the flower so new ones can grow. Okay, now everyone say, goodbye, Warmhorn. Goodbye, Warmhorn. I would spend your last hour wisely. Yes, hell Satan. <sighs> well. I'm certainly apologetic about that. I'm sure you're anxious to get started on the drinking challenge. I see your parchment's all signed. I must say I didn't think you would make it at first. Wait, no, I, I, I really can't do this without Milo, sir. I mean, sorry, no. Oh, I can understand that. Though I would uh, perhaps at least question a person's loyalty, you know. Someone who would leave you alone on the breach, but I'd think about it. I wouldn't want to, uh, want to sway you, so. Let's just head up to the parlor and you can think it over. It was wonderful following you along on, on Bicker, watching you as you got those seals. It was very, um, you know, it was very, it was entertaining. It really was. I don't know what else to call it. I hope you didn't think it was busy work or anything. I'm just, uh, I'm really glad it's over. Oh, <laughs> well, best keep your dismissive attitude to yourself, lest you offend the dear architects of this experience wherever they may be. But this, uh, this will be fun, I think. I, I think you'll have fun. Ah, uh, so I see what they've been doing here. This whole time, all the decisions that we've made in trying to get an invite and trying to get the seals, they've been trying to build up to whether the two, Milo and Lola, listen to Milo or Lola more. And in our case, we followed, I think it was Lola's plan of going to the demon, and then Lola's plan of getting Roberto off. There was a bit of a branching error here because I actually let Milo do the dance off. No wonder, yeah, this one seems to be wrong because he did not beat ass. But in the end, it doesn't really matter because Lola had two out of three anyway, so we still would have ended up back here. And I don't know, man. No two people are gonna be perfectly compatible. We're gonna have like little hangups here and there. It's not Milo or Lola's fault. Milo, I'm sure he'll come back. We've been together far too long for him to just bail out on me like this. Come on, man. We're counting on you. Damn, you walk slow. Wait, don't tell me we're out of gizzard, Jin. No, Trinabog. I'm here with Lola. She's doing the challenge. She made it. Uh, really? Yes, really. Now then, Lola, where is your team? Uh, what team? What team? <laughs> what team, she asked. The team. Your team for the drink off with me. You see, these are my friends. Hiya. And now you need to acquire yours. It's a team competition, as all good drinking games are. Now Morgan's six months sober, so you only need three, not including yourself. 
Which shouldn't be too hard, especially for an industrious young woman like yourself. Where the crap am I supposed to just <laughs> find three friends? It's not like I know anybody. Well, you know, I'm sorry. If you've spent the entire evening out in the throng and haven't a single number to show for it. I'm sorry if people have presented themselves vainglorious. I'm sorry that every friendship is built on biological impulse and a fear of being stabbed in the side. But that's the way it is. I'm just a custodian, after all. Come back when you're ready. I'll be waiting. <laughs> See ya. I really can't think of three people who would join me and be my friend. Okay, Milo. Sam. <laughs> who else? Polly? Polly might want to do this because she doesn't like Satan very much anyway, right? But I don't know if we're friends. We never made any friends down here. It was all business transactions. Oh my god. Milo, come back. I need you. Hey, idiot. Your friend is here. Where is here? Uh, okay. I don't know if you noticed, but um, ever since... Ever since Milo got a text from Eliza... Gate closing, going down. He never let the phone go. The whole time he was walking around with the phone. <laughs> Thought that was pretty cute. Hey, is that text ever gonna go away or... Where's here? At the taxi? Or somewhere else? Can I get it to go away? <laughs> Another little bug, I suppose. Somebody call for a ferry? What? I did, but I have some stuff I want to do first. Okay, I'll just uh, go over here and fuck myself. <laughs> Wait, how do you know? Reunite with Milo, a way to end the night. Oh my god, what happened to the texts? But did you see the texts here? It's all like the same text, but what? Oh, something weird's happening. I don't know. I don't know. This is normal. <laughs> Goodbye, Wormhorn, whoever the fuck you are. Is that it? That's it for Wormhorn, really? Kind of feel bad for her, but she was actually an asshole to me the entire night. Want to head out? Ready when you are. Yeah, I'm going to the schoolyard strangler. Sure thing. Lola, stop looking at your texts! Walking and looking at your phone, that's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Giriato, Giriato, no. No, shut up for a second, let me finish the damn story. Okay, well, I didn't know your wife was in the room. Why do you have it on speakerphone if... Why would I tell you to put it on speakerphone? He hung up. <sighs> that guy. Huh, sorry about that. Had to, uh, had to take a call. Well, uh, what's the story? Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I just had a, a crazy date last night with this woman he knew. Sexually, she was very advanced. Uh, there was a lot of math involved, <laughs> flashcards. I didn't, uh, it was a little hard to keep up. I was just talking to my buddy about it. I hadn't seen him in a minute. And it's, uh, it's not like it is on Earth, it's, uh, hard to maintain friends down here. There isn't that communal consciousness that binds everybody that lets something like Gone with the Wind still be the biggest box office hit when adjusted for inflation. I was Demons just looking that up. are self-involved. We don't know what it's like to live as another person like you guys. You're not born trapped in a psychological prison shaped by your, by your ancestral code and self-rewarded biases like we are. You're not afraid of each other all the time. You don't hate without reason. I sometimes wonder what that's... what that's like. Yeah, um, Malakota, I don't mean to... Uh, to dispel your illusions, but people don't exactly like each other either. Any one of us would eat the other one's eyeballs for five extra minutes of screen time. Oh shit, really? Oh, you know what? I, I was thinking of angels. They're the ones, uh, without a... without hate. 
Yeah. Somehow I don't Shit, think so. Sorry, I forgot. You going to Satan's thing tonight? Uh, you mean the party? Oh, I, I don't mean the party. I mean the thing. What? The coup? Oh, totally. <laughs> the, the, the thing. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Didn't know you guys were that close. Just remember, don't say anything before it happens, all right? Okay. Can't let him, you know, fucking escape or anything. The coup. Okay. We're almost to, uh, almost to first in Izzard. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. I'm thinking about that date again. Chiriato, his wife's gonna be pissed. He told her he was working late the night I met her. But I'd convinced him to come out with me to school, be my wingman. Cause, cause I'm not really good at that stuff. But you know, what are friends for? You're reminding me more and more that Milo's not by my side. And I really need him back. First in Izzard, here we are. A uh, place you uh, wanted to go and now you're here. I'd be quick though, if you're heading to the Strangler. Bars are all closing soon. Hell rise is coming. Work waits for no man, you know, etc. etc. I hope you um hope you have a good rest of your night, ma'am. Thanks. <laughs> we got a new cabbie. Because uh, let's get some some Belgian pancakes, right? Oh, take us home. Oh, I gotta shit a fucking log cabin. Cause Sam is drinking with Milo right now, right? Oh, well, I'm pretty confident in their relationship. <laughs> so I think once we talk, once we talk it out, it should be fine. The coup, though. That seems to be a thing that multiple people know about. I'm pretty sure they were talking about the coup. I didn't ask what it was, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have told me anyway. No, save the spoilers for the second playthrough. Like Sam says. Can I get a drink? First? Where is everybody? Everybody I know. Hey, Shabbat Shalom! You came quicker than I thought. I heard on talk radio Morningstar changed the drinking contest rules again. Yo, Father Van Dyke. Another round, if you're not busy? Milo and I are sort of... In the process of moving through and past of a fight of sorts. Yeah, the bad ones linger like leprosy, don't they? You know your friend's here? Is he upstairs? No, your your other friend. Mary? She's a few in, but oh. not tits up. Might be worth having a word with her too. To be honest, I feel kind of bad for it. Satan sort of put it on blast. Morningstar does have his charms. That's what makes him the exalted. But speaking of exaltation, some people don't come here or heaven, you know. They get blown out with the butterflies. Nirvana. Already Schopenhauer would call it extinction. I'd call it winning by timeout. Enlightenment's not hard. Just have sex to James Brown. Some people would call <laughs> getting rid of Sister Mary Warmhorn enlightenment, but the inventor of the mirror hung himself, so I guess people really hate their foibles. Not that I disagree, of course. Give me a break, Sam. All right, I mean, demon gotta look out for demon. Okay, but you can't possibly think Wormhorn, things like that are a good thing. Here's the, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing, Lola. Humans, they're born in beds. They don't deserve to be happy too, but you get to be. Some of you, anyways. Father, another? Thanks. Okay, your partner in crime's upstairs. I'll be here waiting for you when you're done. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't realize this, but a potential friend that we can call on is Wormhorn, huh? Even though she's been not quite the friend to me so far. She is charming in her own little way though. Oh, she looks so sad. Mary, no. Come on, come on. Let's uh let's make up here. Um, hey, what? I'm just uh just just saying hi, I guess. Just saying hi. What do you want? Huh? What is it? <laughs> um, this is... Okay, it's gonna sound weird, but I guess I just... I wanted to come over and look at you. Look at me? Like I'm a two-headed fucking cow in a carnival? Look, I don't need this shit, okay? I'm... I, I'm doing great, Lola, okay? I might have been born from your so-called traumatic memories, but if you think I'm gonna be defined by your pathetic self-doubts about having webbed toes, you got another thing coming. 
I'm my own demon, okay? With my own plans blossomed from my own anxiety. Well, not that I care, but you're deluding yourself if you think you could be happy. I'm meeting some friends here. All right, don't know if you've ever heard of them. The, 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 the terrible trivium, the word snatcher, the gelatinous giant, the... Ow, oh, fuck, shit, just uh, go before somebody sees me with you. So, wanna play? Play? Beer pong? W with you. Yeah, I mean, what's the harm? Milo's not here. What does that matter? I'm not your friend, Lola, I'm your kid. You're Spriteling, you're Sprout. Parents forget, you're not supposed to relate to your child, just protect it. Of course, I'm the child you're meant to neglect, letting me wash away into the reeds of self-medication. I came from Milo's turgid self-reflections too, Lola, and we're not gonna play catch without Dad. So go get him and we'll see. Um, maybe. I will think about that. I'll just be here, if you and Milo feel like it. Okay, Wormhorn, stick around, all right? I'll come back with Dad and we'll be a happy family, a happy dysfunctional family where you continually torture us and drive us apart, and you're the reason why we're apart right now in the first place. But hey, hey, you, yo, <laughs> trying to think of an acronym like YOLO, you only personal demon one time a day. Okay, yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> For the 10th time, kid, this isn't karaoke. This is bingo, okay? Show some respect. All right, just, just, just let me call out some letters. The numbers. Let me call out the, the the letter numbers. Just what? Give me the mic. I'm a natural. What's the what's the harm? Oh yeah, what's the harm? No big deal. Just the integrity of bingo we're talking about. You're right. That's not important. In fact, maybe nothing is important. Huh? I'm being sarcastic. And if you know what's good for you, you'll keep your mouth shut the rest of the way before you fall over and sully the evening's main event, which is bingo. In case that wasn't clear. Crystal as... as clear. Hey, Milo. Sorry, we're full up on participants. You understand. Bingo fills up quick. Bingo? One of the oldest forms of gambling invented by Satan worshippers in the second century. Oh. Unless you live in a government that blocks certain facts from being disseminated, this shouldn't be news to you. Whatever, just, just ignore her, MC Demon. She doesn't... she's not... she doesn't like to party like us. Milo, okay, let's let's go somewhere and talk, all right? What's there to talk about? How how you never listen to anything I say, or or that you hate having fun, fun hater? Let's just keep the game going, guys. Okay, take it outside. No, 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 no. Give us give us a second. This person sits on her on her throne of judgment like she's Ivan the Terrible, and and I'm sorry, Lola, for staying in town. Okay, I'm sorry I decided to put I my didn't. family first. I don't know what you want from me! I didn't! You, ask, you tell me to open myself up to new experiences and, and... Well, I'm sorry, but... Just don't interrupt. Let me finish. Now I'm finished. <laughs> Becky, give me three more runaway cars. I've already had twelve. <clears throat> Impressed? I don't get it. Is it impressive to go through a dozen juice boxes on Earth? What? What do you mean, juice boxes? A runaway car is mostly Raspberry Punch Kid with a dash of spritzer. Wait, I've been drinking non-alcoholic drinks. <laughs> You're as sober as a nun on Sunday. God, you know what? Screw this. Fine. Fuck you guys. Milo. Let him go, man. He just doesn't get bingo. It's about that time, ladies and germs. Let's keep the bingo going. Oh, Milo. I wonder if he still would be us against me if the dance-off had registered because I did listen to him! I let him do the dance-off! And it was really by chance that we didn't pick Milo's choices most of the time. And I mean, even within going to Fela, the demon, that was Lola's thing, but I chose Eliza, who was who Milo wanted to go with. Got him on date and all. Wanna have a drink? Not really. I don't remember that much about our friendship, Lola. About our history together. I remember certain things, like a, like a hallucination, you know? But the scary thing is, I can't for the almost literal life of me remember why we stayed friends in the first place. Oh, We just don't have anything in common. Milo, come on. We have, we've got stuff in common. <laughs> like what? We make each other laugh. Don't we? we? Shouldn't that be enough? I don't know. 
Maybe. We're here because we, apparently we weren't great people, but I think maybe we're here because we weren't great at being people. Maybe that's the same thing, but we've been cutting each other in half for our entire lives, and I just don't want to do that anymore. To you or to me. So Ooh. if we get back, I'm going to try to, uh, to do something in that world that makes me feel okay about just being me. As scary as that sounds. I can understand where he's coming from. Although it's a little bit scary and sad on my end. Hey, we can still be friends though, right? <sighs> yeah, we can still be friends. Lola, I know you're always being you with me. You never, you never try to be anything else you're not. I try to do the same for you. And whatever else happens after tonight, if we get back, if we don't, let's, uh, well, you know. Yeah, <sighs> don't worry about it. Aww. All right, let's out drink that son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sam's. Well, actually, I thought she was. I'm right here. How <laughs> long were you standing there? I saw you I've walk been here. John for the last ten minutes. So one second. Why? You kids patch things up? Uh, sure. Sure sounds like good enough for me. Let's ramble. Uh, not quite yet. Got to go pick up our daughter. Hey. Still want to play around? Uh, I guess if you want to. I mean, <laughs> that's lame to say. Let's do it, seriously. All right, <laughs> cool. I actually, um, I don't really know how to play. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, it's easy. Just toss a rat bird egg into the cup, get it in, cup leaves. When all the cups are gone, that means you've won. You're old hat at this now. Oh, I, I wouldn't say that. Uh, okay, well, Lola, you and me, ready? Oh, I mean, no, I want to go first. I'm new. Fuck you. <laughs> Maybe I will let her win on purpose. I don't know. Kind of feel like doing something nice for our daughter, even if she is an it's asshole. I tell you the cops. Sure, it's the cops. Good job. Oh, man, this is hard. It looks. I think we got our three friends right here. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Nice! Yeah, that in. Nice, man! Alrighty. I don't feel very drunk by this, though. Apparently. Ah. Oh, man, I thought that was going in! Why are you cheering me on? You cute little thing! Hey, good shot, Wormy. Damn! Maybe I don't even have to go easy on you, and you'll win anyway. I'm really bad at this one, apparently. It's hard, because I got the middle one out of the way, so now the two- the remaining two aren't bunched up together. Oh, nice. That was a lucky shot. Next time, Wormy. Oh, I kind of want to let her win, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll just try our best. Oh! Maybe let her drink a little. Was. Ooh, that was fun. Yeah, it was. And on that awkward note, I think it's about that time, kids. Really? That's it? I mean, I I'm not going to poof out of permanence right this second. I probably have like another half hour or something, but... It's fine. It's good that it happens this way. People change. You change. You learn how to drive. You get married. Folks die. You you change and your demons should change with you. But I don't know. Maybe I'm preaching to the wrong choir. Why? You two. You're still friends. That hasn't changed. Maybe it won't ever. Yeah, I mean, we'll always be friends. Why would that change? Mm. Personally, I don't think it should. But I'm just Sister Mary Wormhorn. <laughs> what the fuck do I know? Bye, you little freaks. And don't be blaming me for your nightmares, okay? God gave you creativity. He just forgot to put in the off button. But text me if you want to hang out. Hey, I do want to hang. You don't want to join me? In my team? Really? Well, I suppose that's that. Uh, I want to check the other side of upstairs first. Yeah, it's coming together nicely now, all of a sudden. We've kind of been meandering around hell the whole time. But it's really about examining Milo and Lola's friendship. And how... 
why are they friends? They've been friends forever, but does that mean that they have to be friends forever from now on? They're kind of growing apart a little and they don't have too much in common necessarily. Bit of a situation where it seems like we're friends just because we're friends and we don't really have too much else. And the personal demon, well, even that is really just a part of what we really think. <laughs>